Good morning, good morning everyone. Welcome to Storytime. Thank you for joining me. I'm Sarah from Williamsburg Regional Library. And today, kids, we're going to do an action song where it might be fun to have something like a scarf that you can wave around. So that could be a dish towel or a washcloth. I'm going to use this cloth that I had in my kitchen. So now would be a good time to run and get something like that. So you're ready with it when we get to that action song. Grown-ups, just a quick note for you. I celebrate diversity in my story times and something that you'll hear me do today is to explicitly acknowledge differences in the way people look. So this is something that it's appropriate to do with kids as young as two when you're reading picture books to them. You can point to characters in the books you're reading and say, look, this boy has dark brown skin. Is your skin darker or lighter? This girl has Afro puffs. Isn't her hair great? Isn't it amazing that we're all made differently? We all have our own bodies and no one's is made exactly the same. Let's get started by singing If You're Happy and You Know It. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! So this is the elevator song. This is our action song for which you need your cloth, or you can choose to use your cloth. It goes like this. Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There are lots of tall buildings on a little piece of land and we live way up on the 57th floor. This is what we do when we step out the door. Okay, get ready. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. And we turn around. Let's try that again, a little bit faster. Just the chorus. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, and we turn around. A little bit faster, sing along with me too, if you can. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, and we turn around. Now let's do it as fast as we can. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, and we turn around. Oh, it's a tongue twister. Hold out to your cloth. Let's see if you can follow along up and down when I change the pitch of my voice. So when I go higher, up, bring your cloth up. And when I go lower, up, bring your cloth down. Let's try that. Ah, ah, ah. Now I'm gonna show you my slide whistle. This is a funny little instrument that you play by blowing into this end and sliding this stick to change the note. So, See if you can follow along when I play on the slide whistle with your cloth. What if I make it a little bit trickier?
hard to do. It's hard to keep my breath going. Good job following along. I want to read you a book that I really love. It's called Squeak, Rumble, Womp, 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 A Sonic Adventure. That means an adventure of sound. And it's by Wynton Marsalis, who's a famous African-American trumpet player and composer of music and now a children's book author. And it's illustrated by Paul Rogers. Let's look at the cover for a moment to figure out some clues about what this book is about. We know it had the word sonic, which means about sounds, and we can figure out that some of these sounds are gonna come from instruments. Do you know that instrument on the cover? This little boy is playing a trumpet. Doesn't he look so joyful marching and playing his trumpet? He has beautiful brown skin. Look at your skin. Is it brown too? If you have brown skin too, raise your hand high. If you have white or light pink skin, raise your hand high, that's me. If you have a skin that's between pink and brown, raise your hand high. Isn't it amazing that there are so many different colors of skin and that everybody has a body and everyone looks different. No one is made exactly the same. All right, let's read this book together. Our back door squeaks. A nosy mouse, eek, eek, eek. Can you find the little mouse in the picture? It's also how my sister's saxophone sometimes speaks. Big trucks on the highway rumble. Hunger makes my tummy grumble. Have you heard that sound before when your tummy is hungry? It can make silly sounds. The big bass drum goes bum, brum, brumble. The bass drum is the instrument in front played by the tall man with a drumstick. Our faucet needs a fix. See those drips of water? They're making that sound. Tluck, 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 tluck. My alarm clock ticks. Tluck, 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 tluck. Pizzicato violinist plick, pluck, licks. They're using their fingers to make those short pick, pick, pick sounds on their violins. What does an ambulance say? Woo, woo, woo. Ambulances say. A motorcycle speeds away. Bromp! The trombone slides down to play. I love the wind whistling across my face, whooshing my kite into outer space. Womp, womp, womping. Tubas fill up the place. Trick, 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 buttering my toast. Crick, 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 quick, where it itches the most. Shook, chook, shook, chook, shook, chook, shook. Quick, hear that washboard boast. I like how he's discovering sounds in the world, normal sounds like the scraping on toast or scratching your back, and how they can kind of sound like instruments that you play, like this washboard instrument. This picture is so funny. Look at the top of the picture. There are puddles on the floor and drips of water coming off these little legs. Now these little legs belong to the baby of the family. What do you think that baby is doing? Do you see how over in the corner there's some grown up feet? I think maybe that baby is running away from a parent trying to give that baby a bath. And look at the faces of the big brother and sister. They're cheering for the baby. They're like, yay, baby, run away. All right, so let's listen to the sounds on this page. Flop, flop, flap, 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 flop, flop, flap. Clap, 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 clap. Ting, tinky, ting, tap, pling, 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 plop, doom, 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 blap, doom, doom, slap. These guys have got some cool instruments. There's a whole drum set. There's a piano and a giant double bass making those deep doom 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 sounds. 
flies bzz, 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 all around my food. The barber's clippers drrr, 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 and I'm cool, dude. I huzz, huzz, huzz a kazoo when I gets the mood. The big train rolls down the wa track. My family's loud, rah, rah, wah, but I'm laid back. Who do you think is saying wah? Can you see who in the family might be saying wah when the big train comes? There's a baby in that stroller. My trumpet blare, blare, blares with a big ol' attack. All right, this page is a little tricky. We're gonna put together lots of those sounds that he found in the world and lots of sounds of instruments. So you can read it along with me if you're a reader. Squeak, squeak, eek, eek, rumble, grumble, brum. Brum, brum, brum. Womp, womp, shk, shk. Clap, clap, clap. Doom, doom, bzz, bzz. Wah, wah, boop. Now I've just got one more thing for you. Instead of our regular goodbye song, I want to teach you a song that my kindergarten teacher taught me. It's a beautiful song called We Shall Overcome. This is a song that's about saying no to people being treated unfairly because of the color of their skin. We're going to put some really simple movements to it, movements that should feel really good in your body. So let me show you. First, we'll stretch up and over one way. Come back down. We'll stretch up and over the other way. Float back down and then we'll reach both arms up and put our hands together up above our heads stretch up towards the ceiling and then bring your hands back down to the middle that's all and it goes like this we shall overcome we shall overcome we shall overcome someday The second verse we'll sing is we shall live in peace see if you can sing and move along with me we shall live in peace we shall live in peace we shall live in peace someday Thank you for joining me. Can't wait to see you soon in the library. Bye-bye.